Hello friends, <clears throat> it's Sunday. I just uploaded a video um, of the things that I've learned in therapy over the last year. <sighs> right now I'm just chilling with the dogs and waiting for Governor Whit- <sighs> I'm sorry, this is so shaky. I gotta stop shaking my leg. Governor Whitmer's um, announcement at six has me anxious but what doesn't these days so thinking a week in my life vloggy type thing but if we go on lockdown I'm gonna have to come up with something else maybe a week in my life in lockdown maybe this could be a week in my life because I'm basically already on lockdown and I have been since 2019 now the juices are flowing. <laughs> Hello again, it's me. Um, I'm stressed because A, I don't know if we're going into lockdown again because that was a very big conference. And B, I don't know if I should just do the food sensitivity test and waste the $200 on it to see what my food is, or my food, see what my gut is sensitive to or not. so sick of trying diets and them failing and me not knowing why and I just feel like if I did this test I would have a specific list of foods that I can have and it would just make my life easier but it costs money and I don't know and I'm also still heavily debating on allergy shots <sighs> Hello friends, new day, same huddle. Um, it's Monday. I just had an appointment with my psychiatrist and we are adjusting one of my meds. And she's really great and nice and I like her a lot. Um, I found out that she was half the reason that I got my ketamine prescription, so huge shout out to her. She's good with my meds. Um, my other, and then my I have my psychologist in a little bit who helps with my mood and words and all of that stuff. Um, I just wanted to pop on here right now because <clears throat> a Facebook memory reminded me of it. And 10 years ago today, I checked myself into Pine Rest. Why did I do that, you may ask? Because of my headache. Um, nothing was working back then. The neurological team I was seeing was about to break up with me. I had just moved to my dad's house in Kalamazoo for the first time. And I was on Paxil, which was giving me really suicidal thoughts. Basically, everything was crumbling and I just didn't want anything anymore. So I checked myself in. So I just wanted to be open with all of you that the, in my almost 29 years, I have been to a mental facility twice um the second one helping more than the first but the first one obviously helped somewhat because i'm still here so yeah just getting ready for my next appointment and all the phone calls i have to make today so hope you all have a happy monday hello it's tuesday i'm catching up on this is us wearing my darky shades. Same huddle. Definitely need to motivate myself. Myself, myself to shower. Spinal tap tomorrow, and I'm not scared because I've had them before, but Corona's running rampant. Like, I thought they would cancel it. 
Um, I just can't have anybody come sit with me, which is fine, because all I do is lay there. Um, while all of you might be enjoying this wacky Michigan weather, it is giving me a real run for my money. And I just feel like crap. And I already took ketamine. So I have one more day of that that I can take it. <sighs> I cannot control this, so I need to stop letting it control me. Good morning, friends. It's Wednesday. It's 6.30 in the morning and I have to go get a spinal tap. So the hoodie's about to change. Sad, it's been on for way too long. Ooh. 20 bucks says that they take something from this clip and make it my icon or my thumbnail. But yeah, spinal tap. Let's get it. Drugs. I thought I was getting drugs, but they just needed to draw my blood. Boo. Nurse, bring me some Ativan. Oof, I can't believe I let the public see me like this. I can't stop peeking at my face. Um, I forgot to film anything after my hospital clips. But Arielle came over and brought me six donuts and I ate all six of them. And then she made me filet, so that was really nice. Uh, today I feel like total shit crap because the weather ch -ch -ch changes. Everybody else in this state is like, woo, no snow yet, blee blah blue 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 blah blee, and I'm like, please just pick a temperature and stay true to that. So. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Man with a Plan. It's pretty funny. A week of my life. <sighs> Do these videos ever seem like they all are the same? Because they sure do to me, so. One breath at a time, right? Hi, shower. Took a nap. Feeling okay. Woke up to use my cephaly and she's dead. It's really sad. And all the dogs are trying to get me to feed them even though it's like 3.30 and they don't eat until they don't eat until five. Good morning and happy Friday. Um, I woke up with a killer headache as per usual. The snoring slash snorting is not me, by the way. There's a leaner dog in there. Um, I slept a lot yesterday, just like, I don't know. I hate getting procedures done that gets people's hopes up. And I also hate getting procedures done that I don't know why they're doing them. So that kind of put me in a funk. Um, 
I just feel really like out of it and I know that everybody is kind of feeling this way right now. The holidays are coming up and people can't be with their loved ones and that sucks. And I really hope that people follow the rules and don't overgather and don't go out shopping or whatever. Do it online. I don't even know. Um, my cephaly died, so I'm waiting for that to charge. <clears throat> and yeah, that's just how my Friday morning has been going. So, I slept so much yesterday, it was crazy. I feel like I could sleep forever, except not. Let's hope this day gets better. Good afternoon and happy Saturday. Um, I'm super tired as per usual. I went to Meyer and I feel like I ran a marathon, which I didn't. Um, I figured I should end it here because I didn't like the last ending, I guess. I don't know. I'm almost done with Man with a Plan and I'm really sad because it's funny and it reminds me of Joey and, you know, friends things. Um, yeah, I can't believe I'm still tired from my spinal tap. As I get older, the more I put my body through, the <clears throat> longer it takes to bounce back, which I have always known, but some people don't totally understand. <laughs> but I hope y'all have a safe and um, distant Thanksgiving. I read this thing the other day when I was really sad because we're not, like, we're just doing something at our house. We're not traveling or anything this year. Um, what did it say? A Zoom Christmas, or no, a Zoom Thanksgiving is better than a COVID Christmas. No. Something like that. So, but we've already basically cancel their Christmas plans as well. But yeah, just stay safe, stay away. Um, don't go out unless you necessarily have to. Use your hand sanitizer, wear a mask, all that good stuff. Say thank you to any frontline worker. Cause I noticed nobody said thank you when I was getting my procedure done. With that, I will get off my soapbox and upload this. Okay, bye.